What's up everybody, I'm at Big Bear Cannabis and today do another strain review, this time for Acapulco Gold from North Coast Growers. This is a product out of Washington State. You can find this at a number of dispensaries all across Western Washington. This is a super sativa, the first time I would ever rate 100% uh, full sativa. And let's start with appearance. I gave this appearance a perfect five leaves. As you can see in the close-ups, you can see that this is absolutely packed with trichomes, beautiful color, and I can't see a place to fit another trichome. Can you? This Acapulco Gold looks like it was left out in a winter storm, absolutely covered in trichomes. Now let's move on to the aroma. The aroma I gave a 4.5, absolutely vibrant smell. This is one of those that had a bit of a difficult time uh, putting my finger on. It is one of those smells that you can smell before you even crack open the bag. Super, super pungent. And of course, the first thing I get is that pine saw smell, a little bit of pine, a little bit of lemon. And when I keep going back, I get this consistent smell of bubble gum, that sweet kind of uh, candy-like smell. It's very nice. And the last thing I get is just a hint of kind of these spicy, earthy tones as well really deep rich smell with this absolutely fantastic so price i gave 3.5 and i gave the price originally 1.5 then when i went through because it is 55 for an eighth that is the most that i would almost certainly ever pay for uh, 3.5 grams of flour um, and i was very hesitant to do it talking to my bud tender at 2020 solutions they talked to me and said you know this is something that you won't regret paying 55 for you know i wasn't so sure but when i actually went through and did my official review you need so little of this and you need to microdose with this stuff and we're going to talk about that more here in a second but because of that this this eighth is going to last you a lot longer than most eights will so i changed the price after i did my review from 1.5 to 3.5 for that very reason so how about that taste it tastes a lot like it smokes another one that i gave a perfect score to you get this nice lemony citrus smell with really deep taste of sweet um, it is a beautiful vibrant smoke but most importantly super smooth i was absolutely tearing up my bong with this and not having any problems as far as the the taste goes the smoothness i never felt the need to cough let's talk about potency be careful with this one. It will smash you in your face if you're not careful. This was a little too potent and I'll explain why. It went from amazing to super racy. I wanted to pump the brakes for a second and, and I couldn't. It was a, a train out of control. So one thing I wanna warn you about is this is a really great strain, but you have to microdose with it. Don't make the mistake of smoking too much of this or it will get racy on you. So let's talk about the effect. The effect with this is absolutely fantastic. But again, you have to be careful. When I decided to do my official review, I made the mistake of consuming two very large bowls of this. I was having a bit of a tough day. And so I decided, you know, because I have a high tolerance that I was gonna smoke two nice big bowls, big mistake. When I microdose with this and take small amounts, um, it's this very creative, uplifting, euphoric, everything's just going great with the world when you microdose in the small amounts with this uh, again if you smoke too much of this it gets very racy and it's not enjoyable so the duration i gave 3.5 this is one that you know when you think you've reached the top and you're about to take that dip down it shoots up another hundred stories and then when you're taking that drop that's when it gets a little bit too racy and can get anxious. Once I got through that anxious period, it wasn't very long lasting, fortunately. Uh, once I got through that bit of anxiety, then it lasted for a standard amount of time and was really enjoyable on the far end of that high. I'd be real careful as a casual consumer with this uh, and I would start low, go slow, you'll thank me later. And if you're a person that suffers from anxiety, I would avoid this strain altogether. It definitely can be pretty racy. I'm at Big Bear Cannabis. Please make sure you're following me on all the social media outlets, Twitter and Instagram and Mass Roots and Pinterest. And check me out on YouTube and BigBearCannabis.tv. Make sure you're checking me out on BigBearCannabis.com. I love doing great giveaways and all kinds of fun stuff. Speaking of which, congratulations to Austin for winning this bubbler right here. I gave away this bubbler for the month of May, gave a bubbler in April, and gave a bubbler away in March. You get the idea, so make sure you're checking me out on BigBearCannabis.com for fun giveaways, all your cannabis news, strain reviews just like this one, and all of your insider information. I'm at Big Bear Cannabis. Thank you so much for joining me. If you enjoyed this review, make sure to give me the thumbs up. Have a great day.
Um, well, do it again. But that's all going to get picked up, so I'm going to stop until you're done. Careful as a light user if you're a, a usual. 